Hello, Michelle here with From Surviving to Thriving. Today, I wanted to share with you 10 reasons why I binge watched on narcissism videos when I was first recovering from narcissistic abuse. Maybe some of these reasons resonate with you guys. If so, let me know in the comment section below. The truth of the matter is, is that learning about narcissists, narcissistic abuse, narcissism is an important step in recovery. It's not the only step, nor is it a step that you want to get stuck on, but it is an important step. So here are my 10 reasons. Number one, after living in a world of unreality, hearing reality was so refreshing. For example, imagine this, imagine living surrounded by people that saw colors completely different than you. So when you saw a red wall, everyone would say, no, that's yellow or different shades of yellow. Somebody might say, well, no, that's mustard, but it was nothing like what you were seeing it. When you saw black, they said, no, that's completely white. And you lived in this world surrounded by people that were repeating these realities that were so far from the way you saw reality, or in this case, how you saw colors that after months, years, maybe a decade of being surrounded by that, you began to see colors completely different. In fact, not only did you see colors differently, you began to question your sanity. You would doubt. If you saw something red, you would think, well, maybe that's not red. I think someone said that's yellow. There must be something wrong with me for not seeing yellow. Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's what it's like living with a narcissist. And when you suddenly are exposed to other people that have been through it and have come out on the other end, and all of a sudden you're watching these videos where they're showing the colors red is red and black is black, and you're like, oh my God, I'm not crazy. That's exactly what I was thinking. It is like food to your soul. It is so refreshing to realize that your perceptions were correct. You were just living in a world where everyone else or the other person that you were living with had the wrong perception. And you just can't seem to get enough of those videos because of how good it feels to realize that this makes sense now. Number two, another part of binge watching happens because as you're learning about narcissistic abuse in the very beginning, you begin to learn that the narcissist is doing these things on purpose. That all of these uh, covert manipulations are calculated and that they don't love you. They never loved you. This has all been a game to them. So sometimes we're watching these videos thinking, no, but that can't be true because most of us that have fallen victim to narcissistic abuse, we're sincere people. We show who we are. This is us. This is how we are. We do things out of pure motive. So we're not used to people doing such evil and wicked things on purpose to people they supposedly claim to love. It doesn't make sense. So part of our wrapping our minds around it is learning about it. Number three, validation. When you've lived with a narcissist for a long period of time, you are never validated. If you're upset, you're made to feel like somehow that's the wrong feeling to feel. If you react to abuse, you're made to feel like your reaction is wrong. Everything is wrong. Everything you're feeling is wrong. You live in a world where there is zero validation. Once again, it begins to create self-doubt. You um, not only don't trust yourself, but your self-esteem has been just knocked to the ground. So as you're learning about it, it almost becomes like an addiction in the beginning because again, it feels so good to realize that everything that you thought was making you crazy was truly making you crazy. That it wasn't you, it was the fact that you were living with a person that played these mind games, these manipulation, um, used these manipulation tactics to spin you around for the sheer glory of it. Number four, another reason why I binge watched was to keep myself strong, especially in the beginning of no contact. When I finally began setting boundaries, I didn't want to weaken. I didn't want to get abuse amnesia 
when you're apart from somebody that's abusive and it's difficult because now all of a sudden you're taking care of yourself. I was a single parent and you begin to think, well, maybe things, you know, were better before. Your mind starts going back to the good times, especially when you're facing present difficulties. Well, watching, binge watching videos really kept me strong. It kept me uh, rooted in reality. Number five, a lot of people binge watch. I binge watch because it made me feel less alone. When you finally realize you're in a relationship with a narcissist uh, and you wanna talk to people about it, like the light bulb goes off, you realize that this is what's going on in your life. You want people to understand why you've changed, what's going on, what the reality really is. You no longer want to support the narcissist lie of the perfect family in public, meanwhile, nightmare behind closed doors. You don't want to support it anymore. You want people to know, and guess what? Nobody gets it. And sometimes friends that don't even know the narcissist can say things like, you know, well, that's not so bad. You know, that's, that's not abusive. He wasn't hitting you. I know people that have had it worse. Maybe you're being too sensitive. Maybe you're looking at it uh, the wrong way. I don't think he would intentionally, or she, I don't think he or she would intentionally do that. That's crazy that somebody would intentionally want to do that. There must be something wrong with the way you're thinking if you think somebody would intentionally want to treat you that way. That hurts. And so when you're watching videos and you're binge watching them, you realize that you're not the only one that's been through it. Your way of thinking and feeling is not isolated. There's so many people that have been through the same thing that completely get you. And for the first time in a really long time, you feel less alone. Number six, another reason. And again, these aren't in any specific order other than the fact that I thought of the reasons, but they weren't necessarily the order of, of how I felt at the time. Um, but they were things that I felt while I was binge watching. Number six was a need to make sure that it wasn't me. When you've been in a relationship with a narcissist, they have you convinced that it's you, especially because they provoke your anxiety slowly. Kind of like that illustration where if you put a frog in boiling water, obviously it jumps out, but if you put a frog in cool room temperature water and you put the temperature really slow, eventually it will cook itself to death from the inside out. Narcissists don't turn up their fire from the very beginning. It's a gradual, slow um, escalating of the abuse. And so because of that, not only are they escalating their abuse, but they're also spinning it to make you think that it's you. For example, they will treat you, uh, or they will ignore you in public. And then if you say that you didn't appreciate being ignored, they will claim it's you, that you're a jealous person, that you don't trust them, that you're not, you know, you have them wrapped around on a leash and you don't, you know, um, give them space. So that kind of treatment over a long period of time makes you think that it's all your fault. And the fact that the narcissist is very quick to make sure that you believe that and, and reaffirm that over and over, the need to really um, recognize that it's not you is, is just something that needs to be fulfilled and watching and learning about narcissism really helps a person to realize that not only was it not you, but that you honestly and truly did all that you possibly could to make it work. But in the end, it takes two. One person cannot carry the load of two people in a relationship, especially if the other person is pathological. Number seven, another reason to binge watch is to gather strength. In a lot of different channels, people share their personal stories. They put their weaknesses out, their mistakes out for you to learn from their mistakes. They put their strengths out, what they did right, what they did wrong. And you can gather strength by watching those videos so that when you're ready to make whatever decision you need to make that will keep you safe emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, you make a choice and have the strength to follow through with protecting yourself and keeping yourself and your family safe. Number eight, another reason why it's good to binge watch or learn about narcissistic abuse and why sometimes it's like an obsession at times is because you start to realize that now that you're out of that relationship, 
narcissists are everywhere not that you become like scared of every place you go but you recognize and you begin to see narcissistic traits in the workplace you begin to see it in different family members sometimes you evaluate your upbringing and you're able to see how it affected your childhood you may even notice it in friends in certain friends so that education it's like there's no end to it in the sense that it keeps you on your toes as far as how to how to face situations different situations with different kinds of narcissists different levels of narcissists so that you can continue to strengthen yourself and not be affected by toxic people number nine the information that you learn about narcissistic abuse helps you put your life together like a like a like a puzzle <laughs> when you're with a narcissist it's like your reality has been shattered. So you see the pieces of the puzzle, but they don't make sense and they don't fit together and nothing seems to go with anything. And it's very confusing. So once you learn about all of this, everything begins to make sense. You begin to notice the red flags that you ignored. You begin to see the, the manipulative tactics that took place in your personal relationship and everything makes sense and part of healing is being able to have that clarity of mind that understanding of what happened so that you can continue to move forward and number 10 one of the other reasons why uh, a lot of people wind up watching videos even after they've been years out of the relationship okay the binge watching may have stopped but every now and then they go back to a video or a channel just to kind of um, get a small dose of, of the information once again because it's a tremendous support and a lot of people find it rewarding now to support others and that's where the comment section is just amazing it's so key in the videos of narcissistic abuse that people take the time to encourage other people to uh, validate someone else to lift someone else up once you heal and you're on in a good place so often it keeps a person strong by in turn helping those that are not quite as far on their healing journey and it's it's doubly rewarding because you're encouraging them and it's keeping yourself strong as well so those are 10 reasons why i binge watched when i was first learning about narcissistic abuse and those 10 reasons are also in part why i began to share my own story because i knew that it could help somebody else my only tip for anyone that binge watches or that's always watching narcissistic um, abuse videos, don't get stuck in this step. It's important. You have to go through it. You deserve to go through it. You need to go through that. You need that education. Just don't get stuck there and forget that the next step is putting the focus not on the narcissist, but on you.